Hey Inspirators, it's Inspiring Nessa here and welcome back to another wonderful interview for all of you. I am extremely excited about today's guest on this interview. Before I do get started, I hope you all have been trying to maintain a positive mindset and hopefully planning on what you're doing for the holidays and the upcoming year. I don't know about you guys, but this year has gone by so so fast it's actually insane it feels like i'm still stuck in march mentally but obviously now right now we're here in december so if you have been doing well and kind of focusing on maybe your news resolutions and hopefully this interview will give you some new motivation and inspiration to be looking up to so speaking of my guest today on today's interview i have the brilliant kedron bryant he is a singer and his black lives matter video i just want to live and went viral kind of during the upmist of the Black Lives Matter protests regarding um, the passing of George Floyd. Um, so you probably will recognize him um, when he does come on here. Like even when I was doing online school during lockdown, my teacher used Kedron's video in one of um, our presentations um, to write about how we felt about Black Lives Matter as well. So he's basically kind of become a very well very well known phenomenon um, and has really played a big part in the movement as well and he's doing some incredible things with his music so I'm just super excited to start the conversation with him and see what he's going to be sharing with us and hopefully get some um, golden nuggets there. I'm just going to wait for him to tune in um, otherwise hope you'll be doing well. Um, I don't know if people are still in school I think people might have finished school today um, so that means you're officially on, on holidays. Hopefully you don't have any homework to do so you can just kind of relax, focus on yourself and just take a deep breath and just see this whole year kind of coming to an end, which is still really, really weird. So fingers crossed that 2021 will be a little bit better. Just just a little bit. That, that's, that's all we're asking for. Just a little bit better um, than this year for sure. Otherwise, comment down below what you'd say that you've learned from this year. Um, from 2020 as I feel like there's been a lot of really valuable lessons that um, we can all kind of take from this year so comment that down below and I'd love to hear um, your most important lesson from this year I think I'll probably be doing a video about it soon so um, like five five things I've learned in 2020 so I think that'll be kind of an interesting twist of a video to kind of finish off this year as well Otherwise, let me know what you say you've let out of all of this kind of chaos from 2020, um, kind of starting off this new new decade um, as well. Um, hi, Keytron. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to click on the button. And then I'm super excited. And make sure to leave down any of your questions down below um, in the comments box and we'll be sure to go through them um, afterwards. I've learned that no one should take things for granted because some of my family members have passed. I am so, so sorry for your loss. Um, but although that has been, I could imagine, a really challenging time for you as well and your family, um, at least you're getting something positive out of it, which is still really, really important. So. Thank you for sharing that um, on here as well. I believe mjcook.11. Thank you for sharing that um, on this interview. Um, so now I'm going to bring Kedron on and then we can just jump into the first question. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good and you? I'm doing well. I mean, thank you so much for being my guest today. It's such an honour having you. Thank you for having me. Um, so what have you kind of been up to recently? Have you got any plans for the holidays? Um, definitely. Um, I've been just doing a lot of things. Um, my music video just released for um, my um, song featuring my sister, Let It Snow. And um, just getting in the Christmas spirit. And I'll be going out of town this Christmas with family to see family. Um, and just enjoy this Christmas break from school and um, just to get a breath of fresh air and just enjoy it and just have a good time. And I feel like Christmas time, like the holidays, is like the best time for musicians. 
that's really where music is just like where the spirit comes from I feel like yes it definitely is um it's just uh, definitely uh, just a good vibe um when Christmas is when Christmas comes it's like wow this is just families around and we're just all laughing and a lot of just just you know positive vibes around and we're just all coming together as one and um having a good time so definitely it's kind of a break for musicians and um just to go out of, outside of the music world and just kind of enjoy um family yeah i totally agree with you so just gonna jump to the first question which is when did you actually begin singing and how did you know that you were passionate about it I um, started singing at the age of five years old, and around that time, um, I was singing in church and um, singing in the choir and at school, and um, I just always had a passion for music. And so after that, um, I was like around seven um, years old, and that's when I really started getting serious, and I started practicing and watching videos of singing. and. Um, after that, just like just started making videos, and then that's when I first started my platform. When I was 11 years old, I went viral, um, singing a a song, a gospel song called "Brand New Life," and that's when my foundation just started. I started um, going places to sing at different churches, and um, yes, and then now I'm 12. Well, I, I was 12 when I made "I Just Want to Live," and then now I'm 13, and I'm just a signed recording artist. Um, so shout out to Warner Records and Umuwa and um, their team for just allowing me just to come in the family and um, be a part. And um, now I'm just recording music. So I've been doing it basically all of my life. I mean, I, I'm, literally, I'm literally lost for words when you were just speaking just now, but like being able to say that you've accomplished that much at only just 13 years old, um, it's just so brilliant. And how did you feel when you kind of got that first call off or got that first email that you were going to get a record deal? Because that's like a massive deal. That's like your kind of big break. Yes. Yeah, so um, it was definitely a big surprise when it went viral. And then um, Warner Records reached out and they said that, that they want to give me a record deal and um, sign me to their label. And I was just like, wow, like I'm really going to be a recording artist and this is what I dreamed for for a long time since I was a little boy. And um, like, it's just really been an amazing journey since then and since they signed me, I just really um, gotten into just music, music, music and um, just really, and, and, I, and it's not pressure at all. It's just me having a good time and doing what I love to do, um, which is, mm -hmm. and, um music so um it was definitely a big um just a, a grateful kind of feeling in my um so i'm so honored yeah i mean and you totally deserve it as well you seem very very um deserving of all of your success and i definitely can envision so much more success for you um, in the future so i think we're all super super excited um to see that coming up and um, see so your black lives matter video went viral and got over three million views so what was your reaction when you found out that so many people had listened to your message? So um, my reaction was just um, like, okay, so I normally just make like regular videos here and then, and I just post it. And um, this particular video just went viral and just <laughs> reached millions and millions. Of your phone's just blowing up. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, okay, like I just saw the Instagram, my face is like right there. I'm just like, wow. And, and it was just a grateful feeling inside. And um, I just had a really, just just the kind of feeling like, wow, this is really happening. And um, it's like, this is the um, start of my career and the start of what I really wanted to do. So um, it's definitely been uh, just a good feeling. Yeah, I can definitely imagine that. I mean, there must have been so many notifications coming through. It would have been a little bit concerning. So I was like, your your phone's gonna blow up soon, sooner or later. <laughs> yes, um, it it's it is like my my friends. They are definitely like, wow, like 
I never knew that that you could sing and um they're just like so so surprised but some of them knew that I could sing but I was always just like no no but um then they just like wow like you can sing and you really inspire me and um just a lot of encouraging words I mean that's so so great to hear I mean the best kind of pathway to success or to accomplishing your dreams is having a good support system so the fact that you already have that is obviously a great a great step and obviously you're going to keep moving forward um, from that as well so my next question is what are your thoughts on black lives matter and what should others do to keep the conversation going um my thoughts on black lives matter is um because black lives do matter and um it's definitely um a big organization of black lives matter and um the NAACP and um just a lot of organizations are teaming up just to say that we want freedom black people we want freedom we want equality in this world and we just want to live like my song says i just want to live um so it's definitely a feeling of um kind of sometimes heartbreaking and sad because of the stuff that is happening as we see on the news almost Every, every time you look up and turn on the TV, it's something happening with the police officer or killing some, killing a black person just because of their skin color. So it's definitely um, a bad feeling, but I also look on the bright side and say um, that Black Lives Matter um, in the, and what I'm doing with my music, I'm speaking and bringing messages to people. I wanna impact people with my music um, that says Black Lives Matter and um, we want equality and peace and love in this world. So um, definitely Black Lives Matter is a big organization and a big movement. I mean, you couldn't have said it um, any better than I would have, but it's just so powerful and it's so like wise of you at such a young age to be like, actually, you know what? I don't want to just make music that's just for the sake of making music. I actually want to have a meaning behind that and that's going to obviously go such a long way because when we listen to music everything goes into our brain subconsciously we're always taking in information from different things so the fact that your music is going to be putting out a positive message and keeping people educated and aware is so so brilliant this is why i have um faith in our younger generation it's because of people like you it's because we can kind of see what we should do and the solutions that we should be making yes <laughs> Um, so how do you write your lyrics for your songs? I think I saw people in the comments saying that your mum um, wrote the song. So kind of um, elaborate on that as well. Um, yes, so my mom wrote the song because of what happened to George Floyd and the killing of him um, because of racism. So my mom um, wrote the song and God gave her those lyrics and, um, and basically gave the song to me and she told me to go upstairs and pray over the lyrics and meditate over the lyrics and that's what i did and after that i went back downstairs and i told her that i'm ready to record it and after i recorded it um i just felt just like i just released all of my messages that i just wanted to get out there because me and my family we watched the video of um george floyd um of of, of him getting murdered and um after that I recorded it and that's when I posted it and just like, just like, I, I was really surprised. Like as soon as I posted it, like the views just like, the views was just like, boom, 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 just going up, going up. So it's just a really good, like, but it was like a really good surprise, not a bad surprise, but um, yeah. And it was a way to kind of express yourself as well. And um, yeah, well done to mom for kind of yeah just getting all of that together um yeah just that that's so brilliant as well um so your album um i just want to live is available to listen to on all platforms so what's your favorite song in the album and why my favorite song um on my i just want to live album yes so my favorite song on that is will have to probably be I just want to live gospel mix um, because I, I I am a fan of gospel music and I love gospel music and um, the and then just like um, I want to do a rendition of 
I just want to live in a gospel version um, for the gospel community and for me, myself, because I love it. And um, that's one of my favorites because it's definitely um, speaking definitely around um, I just want to live because it's like the same message, um, the same words, um, but just in, in a different style. And I just really like that um, style. And it's just, it, it's a really emotional song. It, like if you really listen to it and um, all the words that I'm saying in the song, um, it's definitely a powerful, powerful song. Um, and that's my favorite one. I mean, I think gospel music is just a, such a brilliant way to just share messages and it really just touches you in your heart as well so um i can totally understand why that why that's your favorite um also um so kind of speaking of the younger generation as we were just speaking of previously what message would you give to the younger generation about using their voices to stand up for what they might believe in i would give them some advice some definitely encouraging advice to say um that you can do what you put your mind to and um, also trusting God and believe in God that he will guide you through the right path and that he will never leave you um, and just try to leave you. Okay, now you do that. But he will also give you some tests and some trials that you have to definitely fight because this is it's not just the easy like, okay, God help me and then he, he just going to give you all the answers to it. It's definitely, it takes work, um, hard work, motivation, and you definitely have to earn everything that you try to um, accomplish. And that's um, definitely a big goal in life. And um, also you have to have um, people around you that is going to give you and help you um, along the way. And you have to um, have confidence in yourself um, that you can do it and that you can make it, that you can, um, reach what you want to do and reach um, your goal and um, never let anybody distract you and um, keep on pressing towards um, successfulness and just keep on working hard and just always have positive vibes. I mean, you just gave us like, not even just a golden nugget, you gave us the whole treasure chest right now. <laughs> oh, you're just giving us so much information. Thank you so much for sharing all of that as well. And yeah, I totally agree. Like, hard work, honestly, nothing is ever going to come easy. Everyone always has to start from somewhere. They have to work to get where they are now. And I think we kind of forget about that sometimes. And everyone has to start off from somewhere. So everyone who is watching this, listening to this, make sure you are continuously working hard because it really will um, pay off eventually. Um, my next question is, if you could change one thing about the music industry, what would you change and why? That's a really good question. <laughs> I don't really know because like I've been in the music industry for like a little short time, but like I watch stuff on TV and I watch stuff on social media and internet. And I don't know what I would change but I know what I would just say um, that we have to do is like, I would say that the music industry has to just have peace and love for each other because sometimes it's like a competition. Um, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, well, I'm better than you and I, and I, I can sing better than you and I can um, rap better than you or I can dance better than you. And it's just, I mean, some people, they, 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 Love it. Well, we can be real, but some people, they do do stuff kind of better, but it's sometimes like that, that like big head mindset where you like, mm -hmm. I, I'm this and you're that because sometimes we, we just have to like compete in each other and just um, push each other down and just make each other just like, I hate you or something like that. So I would just say um, to have peace and love each other. Um, and just learn from each other because we're all different and we all have different opinions. We, we all have different ways to do stuff. So all you can do is learn from each other and love each other um, the way the other person is and um, just, you know, just have peace in the industry. I saw someone just comment, you should run for president. I mean, I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. I live in the UK, but if I was 
are you a citizen i would vote for you <laughs> definitely for sure um but thank you for sharing that as well i totally agree i think in like almost any industry there's always so much competition it's always like oh who can i be better at how can i kind of top what this other person has done and actually it's our like differences that kind of should make us come together and should make us learn from one another um as well so i completely 100 percent agree with what you were just saying and my final question is what could we be expecting from yourself in the future i would say you can expect um a lot of um different collabs and um you can expect some um some like stuff with um disney and some movies um and and also you can expect some new music and i have an album that will be coming out um next year um and i'll start working on it soon and it's it's definitely going to be a a great album and um just a lot of big things coming up Oh, I mean, I think 2020, 2021 is looking very bright for you. I mean, you just kind of dropped <laughs> so many things on us just now, but that sounds so, so brilliant. And yeah, just congratulations for everything that you're doing because you totally deserve it. I mean, it's just brilliant. It's just so, yeah, just inspiring to see um, everything that you're doing as well. Thank um, you. Now we're going to go through, a, you're so welcome. Now we're going to go through a few questions from the viewers that they've been sending in. Um, so the first question we've got is from someone called Rachel and they said where are you from I'm from Jacksonville Florida and I currently live in Jacksonville Florida and if you want to know where I am you can probably hear that I'm not from the US um I am just from London as you can hear by my accent <clears throat> and the next question is where can everyone follow you at which is a good question where can we stream your music as well you can follow me here on Instagram um, at Keegan Bryant and on YouTube at Keegan Bryant, Facebook Keegan Bryant, Twitter the same, um, and TikTok you can follow, follow me at Keegan Bryant one, um, and you can um, download and stream my music on all platforms on like Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, um, Tidal, YouTube and um just all the platforms you can think of that's you can get my music and download it and make sure you share with everybody you know share it with your friends and family tell every single person you see someone on the street you know what i think i think you're missing something you're missing some key drum bright music in your life let me let me give this to you <laughs> <laughs> um this next question is from cook destin and they said who is your favorite singers or musical influences? Who is my favorite? Um, I my favorite artist is um, John Legend, and I like mm. um, oh, it's a gospel artist, um, Jacqueline Carr and Clante Gavin, um, Marvin Sapp. Um, I like Jennifer Hudson. Um, favorite rapper is Quavo. And that's mainly it. But <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a lot of them, but I, I always say that they're my favorite, but I don't know. But yeah. Um, I mean, you just pointed out some incredible musicians all their vocals are just above what we what you what you can even say is mind blowing. Mind blowing for those people is just an understatement, um, to be honest. Um this next question is from someone called J Baby2431 and they said, What's your favorite colour? My favorite colour is blue. Blue. I think mine would probably be um, yellow and pink, I'd say. I don't know why. I think I just really like bright colours. There's just something about them. It gives you a nice aura to it. Um, we're just going to answer this final question, which is, what was your dream as a child? I mean, technically, you, were, you still are a kid, but did you have any dreams that were kind of non-related to music? 
Um, my dream as a child, I wanted to be, when I was little, like I was probably like three or something or four, like I wanted to be a police officer, but that definitely didn't work out. Um, because I think one of my family members, like they were like, no, no, don't do that. But um, mainly, like I wanted to be like a, um, a sports player, but I didn't know what I wanted to be like in sports. I just wanted to be a sports player. And yeah, that's that's mainly it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, well, that was our final question. Thank you all so much for sending in your questions. I'm sorry if you didn't get through all of them. If you still have a question, then make sure to leave them down below because this interview will be up on IGTV later. But that was the final question. Keydron, thank you so, so, so much for just being yourself, doing everything that you do. And on top of that, being my guest um, on my interview today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, everyone, make sure you go follow Keydron on all the social media platforms and stream his music and his new music video with his talented sister. I think music just runs in the family now. <laughs> yeah. It just it just runs throughout the whole family. I mean, the mum does the songwriting, you guys can both sing. It's all just good yeah. genetics. Everyone's got good vocals. <laughs> but once again, thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for having me, you too. Thank you, bye. Bye. So now it is the end of this interview. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in today. Sorry again if I didn't get through all of your questions. Um, if you do have any more questions, as I said before, this will be up on replay and on my IGTV later. So if you want to re-watch it, come back for some new inspiration. You can always um, come back to this interview to get any um, extra points. And once again, thank you to Keidra for being my guest today. Make sure to go and stream his music, follow him on social media, and see what's going to be coming up for him um, in the following year because Everything that he just mentioned sounds extremely exciting and I'm super excited um, to see what he's going to be doing as well. Um, once again, thank you all so much for tuning in today. Make sure you maintain a positive mindset. If you'd like to see more other incredible individuals that I've interviewed, all of them can be up and available on my YouTube channel, which is called Inspiring Vanessa. And you can also check out my Amazon Prime talk show, which is called The Inspiring Vanessa Show. Once again, I hope you'll stay positive and I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye.